Hi, Ashley here with Competing Priorities, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about decluttering and um, organizing your medicine cabinet. So whenever we got COVID, after we recovered, I looked around the kitchen and laundry room and realized that medicine was everywhere. Uh, miscellaneous stuff for medicine was, was everywhere, and I really needed to contain it. So I took, literally it was about 10 minutes, and threw out all of the expired medicine and then just kind of reorganized um, the medicine that I did have. And so I bought some of these containers years ago. I think these with the lock and lid um, came from Family Dollar. And so like this one is called Skin Relief. It's labeled Skin Relief. And I had created that because I managed to get poison ivy a couple of times. Um, even though I thought I was doing you know, I wore long sleeves and I wore jeans. The second time, I'm just so highly allergic that I got it a second time around. So things like calamine lotion, rubbing alcohol, um, things like that, cortisone cream, are in the skin relief. Um, then I've got another container and it's called Summer. And this is where I have all of our um, sunblock. I have a lot of stuff for mosquitoes in here, bug spray. Um, we've got mosquitoes real bad where I'm at. Um, so that goes in my little summer kit. And then right here is my son's uh, medicine kit and it's got all of his allergy medicine, Tylenol, Motrin, anything that he's had like a prescription for that he might still need in the future. And then this box is titled pain relievers and it's got stuff like ibuprofen, Tylenol, um, any kind of prescriptions, uh, baby aspirin, um, a lot of that good stuff. Uh, there was codeine that was prescribed to my partner recently. That's in here. Um, and then I have uh, <laughs> my scent, skin, my skin. My son said there was something in his ear. So I was like, oh, wow. Okay, I couldn't see it. So I bought this kit off of Amazon, right? And then by the time the kit came in, he was like, oh, no, my ear's fine. So I've never even actually used this. Um, but I do, I do still want to keep it just in case. So that's going to go in the medicine cabinet. And then actually I got this box at Dollar, just labeled it extra, at Dollar General. And this is where I have extra elderberry, melatonin, multivitamins, um, all that kind of good stuff. Then we have, this is for, this is for like cuts and scrapes. So it's got alcohol swabs in here. It's got gauze, band-aids. Um, it's got a, just a thing of alcohol in here. Then we've got miscellaneous. This came in handy. This is a miscellaneous box. And it actually was an old crayon kit that my son got years ago. So I just reused um, this for all of our miscellaneous stuff. And it's got his baby nasal thing or whatever. I don't really need it, but just in case. Um, it's got our oximeter that I talked about, our um, touchless thermostat, our BP, um, blood pressure, cuff, um, a stethoscope. He had asthma at one point in time, so the stethoscope, I would always check his heartbeat when he was asleep. So I put all of that in here. It's just basically equipment type stuff. And then we've got cough, allergy, and stomach. I didn't have enough of these three to make three separate boxes, so I just put them all together. And we have a lot of stuff that we use for our um, comfort kit. So like emergency, Ricola cough drops, the prescription for nausea, um, Alka-Seltzer, cold and cough, a lot of a lot of that type stuff. I also had, a, had to have a colonoscopy a year or so ago, so I had to buy some stuff for that. Oh. I want to talk about that again. Um, and then this is part of our um, kit that I'm going to put by each entrance, right? So we've got hand sanitizer, we've got masks, we've got um, alcohol wipes, and those are going to get put at the front door, and I'm going to put one at the, the back door through the laundry room. And anytime someone comes in, you need to take some hand sanitizer you know, rub it all over your hands and stuff. Take a mask if you think you've been exposed to COVID or if, I don't care if you've even got a little sniffle, take a mask. It's taken us a long time to recover from COVID. And so then I also have my face masks that I'm gonna put by the, in those same stations, these right here. 
And then I've got my gloves that I'm also going to put by those stations as well. Um, so, so that's it. That's kind of what, what my medicine cabinet looks like. And I'm just using one shelf that's probably um, maybe two feet by a foot and I'll just put everything in there, believe it or not. <laughs> Um, so anyway, just thought I would help share how to declutter and organize your medicine cabinet. And if this works for you, please hit like and um, subscribe to my channel and also share if you think that it would help other people. Thank you and have a great day.